The HendrickCars.com pace car will pull down. Brendan Queen will bring the field into the Death Wish Coffee start zone. Sit back and enjoy this one from Dominion. Oh, and a stack up. Deke McCaskill hard into the wall as a couple of cars had trouble getting through the gears. Kate Brown is involved. And caution is out as another car comes to rest. As we will take one more look at everything that transpired here on the start of the race. Again, you can see stacking up and it's tough to tell there, but exactly where that stack up begins, but you can see who gets the worst end of it. Cade Brown, Deke McCallum. You can also see another RNS race car went just high to avoid it in Logan Clark. And we'll try to get this one started once again. Queen, Sellers, your top two. Get us going here at Dominion. So far, so good as a couple of sparks will fly as Ryan Millington's car and a couple of others bottoming out with some of these tires into low pressure. You can see Queen doing the same with that transition off of the corner. He's able to get by a couple of car lengths or so. Sellers as many Tyrell up the racetrack, kind of in to some of the dirty stuff. He'll lose a handful of positions. He gathers it back up. Challenging Bobby McCarty for that fourth spot. McCarty thought about it, looking three wide there on Robusto and Sellers. Oh, oh Sellers, Sellers far to the outside wall as Robusto makes contact with him. He saves it and keeps on going, but Robusto may have a problem. McCarty said, I'm getting out of here, and he muscled his way past Robusto, who's now trying to keep that car steady on the top side as everybody accordions together double wide, about five rows deep on the front stretch. Millington trying to take advantage as it seems both cars getting back up to snuff for now as Sellers looks like he is just hanging on. Again, had his front, front of his race car off the ground stuffed into the outside wall. And Mini Tyrell and Isabella Robusto, two battles going side by side as Mini Tyrell, Connor Hall. You really get a sense here, Eric, of how difficult sometimes it can be to pass oh, trouble. it. Sellers into the wall in turn four. Looks like he may have cut a tire. And he Caution rolled. flag is out. And the D, that is the case as the Clarence's Steakhouse Toyota has come to a stop at the top end of turn four with a flat right front tire. We will once again see the shitty coolers caution displayed. Into the Death Wish Coffee restart zone they come. Brendan Butter being clean and Bobby McCarty now gonna make up the front row in the battle for the lead. And boy, that 03 is on rails on the inside. Coming off turn two and he gets sole possession of the race lead. He is able to get back to the throttle so quickly, get that car to rotate and has the perfect amount of grip here on the short run to get flying away from the rest of this field. But especially not just the margin between the car on the inside and the car on the outside, I feel like the sense of speed at this racetrack is visible to the naked eye. These drivers are hauling oh. around this racetrack and the consequences oh. for contact could be massive. Lapsovich slides up the racetrack. Does Hall look three? He thought about it for just a moment as they tangled off of turn two and Quapel, well, he's pretty familiar with this spot, hanging out on the outside and having a little bit of contact at Dominion. Think about last year and that finish that they had. And again, trying desperately to get back down to the bottom. And he thought about it. He checked up just for a little bit, a couple of quarters ago, to see if he could get down in front of Connor Hall. But now he knows Connor Hall is there waiting in the wings. So is Jacob Hefner. And look at how hard Trayton Lapsevich is tossing that car into the corner. Look at him again fighting the wheel as he gets on the binders going into three. Hall trying to be patient, knowing he's got to protect the points. And Quapel fends off the challenge. Wow. And of course, Connor Hall, defending NASCAR Advanced Auto Parts Weekly Series champion. Also, trying to add a car store title to his arsenal as this is the battle for second. It is heating up with Ryan Millington starting to pressure McCarty for second spot two drivers that can do themselves some great favors in terms of the championship standings. You think of Ryan Millington right now, 24 markers back, actually tied for seventh with that of Bobby McCarty right now. Unfortunately, Queen, he got the pole, he's got the lead, he may lead the most laps if we get to the halfway point, but now Millington down to the inside of Bobby McCarty. McCarty gonna try, I think, to get back down before Bryce Applegate challenges, and indeed he's able to do so. That second, Applegate checks up, and Mini Tyrell, again, he was a little bit of a distance back 
after the battle that he had earlier. He has driven away from Quapple, up to fourth, and now looking for third on the inside of Bryce Applegate. Might have just fired a little bit of a warning shot there to Applegate as they came off turn four. Mini Tyrell to the inside of Applegate. Little bit of a catch of the apron off turn two and move Tyrell to fourth. Again, plenty of fans here in the grandstands waving that number 81 car along. Again, Billington to the inside of Bobby McCarty. He's been poking the nose to the inside of that number six for the last handful of laps. He finally has the position off of turn four. He'll have it at the stripe. Can he get clear down into one? And can Hall follow Sloot? And he might bring Quapple along with him. Let's stack him up two lanes deep, shall we? <laughs> with Quapple trying to find a third avenue if he can. Now Tyrell concedes the top side for the first time since the restart. McCarty, the lone soldier up there in lane two, with Hall trying to take sole possession of third. And Tyrell's going to try to fill that void off the second turn. I don't think you can hear him right now, but I think the driver that is laughing the hardest right now is Butterbean <laughs> Queen, who is two and a half seconds clear now of this battle taking place. McCarty now trying to fend off, as you can see the gap that Butterbean now enjoys over the rest of the field. Hardly anybody on the same straightaway as that 0-3 car right now. Oh, oh trouble! Katie Hedinger got tagged by Jonathan Finley. Heavy damage to the front end of the 71 car. You imagine that there may be some debris that may bring out a shitty cooler's caution. And despite the fact that she got turned, just saw it out of the corner of my eye, I cannot believe she saved that race car. And the caution flag will fly now as we believe there my may be some goodness. parts and pieces of that race car after Hedinger worked her way well up into the top 10, just got around Jonathan Finley. They may have brushed together. We'll find out as Queen brings them into the Death Wish Coffee restart zone. A great fire off for that 0-3. Hall hanging tough on the outside, and he may have to fend off Ryan Millington, a charge for second off of turn two. And if Hall can get clear of Millington, he's able to do it immediately. A great set of corners there. Hall, you can see him fighting that race car as he sets his eyes on Butterbean. Just behind the one car that's really got their handful is the eight of cars at Quapple. He was not able to get off turn two at all. Here is Millington inside of Lapsovich, who is the last car in the top lane for several rows. As Trayton tries to get up to third, Millington tried to keep his fender inside to turn one, but Lapsovich surges forward. Oh, and Connor Jones into the back of Ryan Millington. Millington trying to hang on. Huge damage for Mason Bailey. And Jacob Hefner looks like he's got a little bit of damage on the nose of his race car. You can see the, the skirt there on the right-hand side of that race car is ripped off. But otherwise, uh, may not look too bad as ba oh man, Bailey gets the worst end of it. And I'm sure Brendan Queen would love to take the Anderson family to victory lane tonight. But he's going to have to fend off Connor Hall, who hangs tough on the outside. Nine laps to go to settle it at Dominion. Ooh, Hall got a little bit loose over the bump. He's clear of Lapsovich. Dives to the inside. This out of the 22 car. And now it is a mono a mono battle for the lead side by side for third. Queen able to drive away, about half a car length separates your top two. Connor Jones also can't forget about him as he's side by side trying to get it done on the top side of Trayton Lapsovich. Pinching him down, but may be able to build up the run off the corner as Jones wiggles off of turn four. Jones doing everything he can to make that outside lane work for him while Trayton continues to try to move him up just a little bit. Now Jones to the bottom, into the back of Lapsovich in turn three, and they're still locked together in the middle of the corner. Oh, Lapsovich sliding up the racetrack. Jones going to peek down to the inside, and they'll stay side by side. Six laps to go here at Dominion. Lapsovich looking for his career best finish in the Cars Tour. Connor Jones looking for a spot on the podium and to talk to us as he leans once again on Lapsovich, who slides way up the racetrack and no, stay heated in this battle. Mini Tyrell, Ryan Millington got a front row seat to it all with five to go. This, the battle for third. Queen has broken out in front. Jones again throws the car into the inside of Lapsovich. And up the racetrack, Lapsovich is going to be able to hang on for now. But Jones drives down to the bottom again. Side by side as Lapsovich willingly went up to the top side, but he may have found a little bit of speed up there. Four laps to go. Jones once again on the bottom. Great, great racing here at Dominion. And again, Lapsovich pulls him off the corner. They almost touch at the start finish line. It'll be two to go next time. And Jones is going to show him the door that time in the middle of the corner. Jones looking to get by for third. Now Tyrell looking to pounce for fourth. Lapsovich into the back of Connor Jones. Two laps to go. Can these two hang on? 
to get to the end in the battle for third. Meanwhile, up front, it is Brendan Butterbean Queen enjoys about four tenths of a second over Connor Hall, who has not been able to catch him. We'll see the white flag this time. One lap to go here at Dominion. The battle for third rages on, but it has been a picture perfect night. Redemption from Langley. Butterbean is going to get the job done, and he wins the Minis Mission 125 at Dominion.